Our next speaker, really excited. I could use his entire time up here talking about his awards and his accolades, but it's better that you hear it from him. He is the first print journalist inducted into the Pennsylvania Sports Hall of Fame. He is a six-time Emmy Award winner for NFL Films. And most impressive to me, his name is on the Writer's Honor Roll at the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio. Everybody, please give me a warm welcome for Ray Dinger. Hi, everyone. Um, glad you could all come out. This is a, a very, very important day. Uh, and uh, how about a round of applause for the guy who put it all together, Coach Mike Carey. <laughs> Success is a choice. It's not a gift, and it's certainly not an accident. It's a choice. It's a choice that you make. You set a goal, then you work to achieve it. It starts with you. You heard Colin talk about goal setting. That is where it starts. You can have the best GPS in the world, but unless you enter a destination, that GPS is useless. You have to know where you want to go. If you're just walking around with no real plan, hoping that maybe you'll find something. Well, maybe you'll get lucky, but maybe I'll get lucky isn't really a plan. I spent 50 years as a sports journalist, so I've interviewed Super Bowl champions, Olympic champions, heavyweight champions, super achievers, everyone. They played different sports, but they had two things in common. Talent, obviously but also they had a plan. Do any of you really think that Tom Brady one day just decided on a whim to play pro football? No. As a kid growing up in the Bay Area, he watched Joe Montana lead the 49ers to four Super Bowl titles. And he set a goal that one day he would play quarterback in the NFL. He wound up winning six Super Bowls, the last one when he was 43 years old. I could tell you similar stories about LeBron James, Wayne Gretzky, and Bryce Harper. Tiger Woods was hitting golf balls on The Tonight Show when he was five years old. Dawn Staley was beating the boys on the playgrounds in North Philadelphia when she was eight years old. So when they achieved greatness, it wasn't a fluke and it wasn't an accident. It was a plan that came to fruition through sacrifice, hard work, and a 24-7 sense of purpose. Now I'm not saying that you can all go out and win a Super Bowl, marry a supermodel, and live on a 60-foot yacht. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that you can all be successful. But you first need a clear vision of what it is that you want to do. Maybe it's music, maybe it's education, maybe it's business, maybe it's sports, maybe it's journalism, maybe it's the military. You'll hear about all of that here today. But first, you have to find it. Then you can start your journey. For me, it started in the fifth grade. The teacher read one of my essays aloud in class, and she concluded by saying, Mr. Dittinger, you should be a writer. It was the first time in my life that anybody ever told me I was good at something. And honestly, it changed my life. When I went to high school, I wrote for the student newspaper, and I won the school essay contest. When the principal handed me that $25 savings bond at the next assembly, the prize didn't matter as much as the sense that I was on to something. Maybe I can be a writer. And that was my GPS moment. From there, it was on to journalism school and then a job writing sports at the Philadelphia Bulletin. How many of you here remember the Philadelphia Bulletin? 
Thank you. Bless you. <laughs> you know, I thought I would be a newspaper man my whole life, but here's another lesson. Be open to any and all possibilities. In 1986, Philadelphia newspapers went on strike. We thought it would last a few days. It lasted two months. The local television stations hired a few of the striking columnists like me to bring their opinions to television, and I was one of them. Now, I had never had any great desire to be on television, but it beat walking a picket line, so I did it. When the strike finally ended, the station asked me to stay on, which I did. And then that led to an offer from Sports Talk Radio, and then later a job as a producer at NFL Films. None of that was part of my plan. Writing was my plan, but the writing provided those other opportunities. The moral of the story is your plan no matter how carefully you map it out, can have some surprises. The road you start on may have some unexpected twists and turns, but see those surprises as opportunities. Don't be afraid of challenges. Over the years, I wrote thousands of newspaper columns, books, and TV scripts, but there was one story I had not told and that was the story of my 40-year friendship with the great Eagles receiver, Tommy McDonald. It started when I was a 10-year-old boy and asked for his autograph. And it carried on years later when, as a sports writer, I led a campaign that helped Tommy achieve the thing he wanted most in his life, and that was a place in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. I knew that was a great story, and I wanted very much to tell it. So one day, I sat down, and I did something I had never done. I wrote a play. I wrote a play called Tommy and Me. It debuted at Plays and Players Theater in Philadelphia in 2016. And I am happy to say, on May 19th, it will begin a one-month run at the Bucks County Playhouse right down the road here in New Hope. I hope some of you, all of you, can come out and see it, experience it. It is also currently being produced into a movie. The point is that dreams can come true. That cliche you always hear about dreams coming true, they can come true. But it has to start with a plan, and it has to start with a purpose. In other words, it starts with you. So let it start today. Thank you all. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Tremendous. Wow, what an inspiring, inspiring story.